The Oregon Historical Society is turning to Illusion to complete its $4.5 million expansion project. As Tim Storrs reports, the project is appropriately called Trump Loewe, literally, to fool the eye. What the Oregon Historical Society has in mind for the, the neighboring Sovereign Hotel is something that looks like sculpture, but isn't really. Something that will architecturally complete the society's building program, but has little to do with architecture. Instead, the building will be used as an outdoor canvas by an urban muralist from New York to expand the historical perspective of the project. Brooks Gunsel is working on it. Somebody used the word whimsical. It's kind of the real, unreal uh, nature of it, which is kind of intriguing that, that actually architecturally will complete the building. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and it's, it's kind of the, the kind of thing that uh, uh, you do a double take. The muralist, Richard Haas, says his painting is intended to look three-dimensional without the obvious cost of new construction. It will mark historical epochs in Oregon. You have uh, in, in the front, uh, what I call the front, the figure standing on a, a, a sort of carved precipice on either side. And then there's that very dramatic break that's actually existing in the building so that it really separates uh, the two sides from each other and also the sort of dual characters of Lewis and Clark. It will also depict the settling of Oregon by the trappers and those who migrated west after them. The other side, I felt, was one that was a little softer, uh, uh, maybe a little more complex. It didn't have that dramatic center break, but it did have those windows. And so I wanted to sculpt it in a, in a slightly different way. And it brought in the possibility of addressing the history of the Oregon Trail by bringing these wagons kind of coming down, getting larger as they move down on the left-hand side of that uh, piece. And then on the right-hand side, kind of uh, the arrival of the first Caucasians and the discovery of the fur trade and the, you know, relation to the Indians. The entire project will still have to meet the approval of the city's design review commission, which already forced inclusion of underground parking. Work is expected to start this winter. In downtown Portland, Tim Stores, News 8.